Alright. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Third tries a charm. We've tried starting this a couple times already. Uh, I'm Cameron. This is Elliot. What's up? And Brandon's on the Discord. Hello. Uh, we're going to rank these Zelda games here. All of them. This is like, I think we're this is like every Zelda game in existence, it yeah. looks like. <laughs> we're really going for all of them, aren't we? And in regards to the ads on either side of this thing, we are not sponsored by anybody. <laughs> so ignore that. And I see YouTube TV on one side. <laughs> I see like a fish thing in Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so should we start with like these random looking things? Like, what the heck is this thing? Yeah, it's like what? the third one. It's like a brick wall with a torch. Oh, yeah. We're just going to put that in the half now. I'm putting that in the half in place. I don't know I what that even is. know what it is. Or the Japanese tingle looking thing. I'm mm. putting that in half in place. Oh, what about that English tingle Japanese thing? Okay, both of the Japanese tingles. Um, not <laughs> touching those. Uh, um, There's another tingle. Do we want to take care of that immediately? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, any tingles put in haven't played, anything like that looks like it's Japanese. Don't put oh, I just put the I just put the English looking tingle in the terrible or the shit list. Alright, we'll we'll put that in terrible. <laughs> Zelda tingle. there's a Zelda game and watch. I mean, yeah. Well we haven't Easy played that. that. It's next to the original Wind Waker. Oh. We can put that in haven't oh. played. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Yeah. Not to mention we haven't played any of the CDI games. Yeah, so see them on the list. we're actually gonna like. Okay, so you see these tiers. We're gonna rank them within the tiers as well. So for the CDI games, I'm, which would be worse though, Tingle or CDI? That's the real yes. question. <laughs> They're tied. They're tied. Okay, any CDI Zelda's Adventure. Get out of here, Link's. If you yeah, get out of here, nasty CDI games. <laughs> what do you see? Oh those? boy, I can't uh, wait to bomb some Dodongos. I don't know. I have them. I I already put them all in the thing. I forgot where they were. Okay, I'll just worry about them when we get to it. Hey, do we want to just do we want to go in order of when they wait, came hold out? Wait, what is or? that one? It's the first no, Zelda. Go from the top. I know. Wait. Oh, yeah. What is that? The first one. Should we say? The Zelda. Yeah. You thing? see that next to Minish yeah. Cap? Is that like the TV show? I don't know. No clue. But it's just gonna go in the have not played. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. Okay. And even if it is a TV show, I would rank it. We just rank it and haven't played because it's not a game. It's a show. And how can okay. You play so it? anyway. Um. Are we just gonna go from the from the start? Link so between link between worlds. worlds. I want to put that in best of the best. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> yes, I agree. It was a very, it was a very good game actually. At first, I thought it was just like a, a remake of a Link to the Past, but no, I was pretty wrong about that. I mean, it is like a Link to the Past, but obviously it has a different See, mechanic. When you when you talk to Cameron, me, you'll realize. He has a lot of nostalgia for A Link to the Past because that was his first Zelda game. And A Link Between Worlds kind of reignited that. Yeah. I'm going to so, say it's one tier below the best of the best. You think? Why is that? Well, Just out of curiosity. The only thing that annoyed me was the fact that you had to buy the items. Well, I thought it was a pretty good mechanic. Yeah, that, that was a little annoying, but I don't think it's like it's terrible. Like game breaking? That's why. Like, that's why I put it down just one. That's the only thing that's really dragging it down. Because it's just like, oh hey, I'm going to this dungeon. Oh, I need to rent this item. Oh hey, I can buy it later. That's a shit ton of rupees I gotta spend. This doesn't look mm. fun. Well, you see, to, but that's like just to buy them. Like, you could still rent them. You know? No, no, but you need to buy them eventually because sometimes you need the two items at once. You could rent two items at once. I rented all of them. I never. Hmm. Yeah, it's true. You can't they, actually rent more than one. They were item. really cheap to rent because you know when you die you lose them. But well, one, I never died really. And two, <laughs> when you did, you usually had enough rupees just to go and rent the, at least the one you needed for the dungeon. So it's not like they designed the dungeons where you needed all of them at once. They worked around it, I think. 
Yeah. So what you want to get to put it in then? I'm still wanting to put it in best of the best, at least for now. If something comes okay. up... Okay, so I'm putting that in best of the best. Link Between Worlds. That's actually like my third favorite Zelda game. So. Now, uh, this might be a hot take, depending on opinions here. Breath of the Wild. What are we thinking? Well, yes, well, in my opinion, while Breath of the Wild was indeed a very good game... I actually prefer the three favorites, because over time I've been playing it a lot and I've just kind of been disliking favor to it. This is my opinion, by the way. Stay true Not to, to mention, opinion. Elliot's literally played this like 20 times. Yeah, and for some people, like me, it gets boring over time, and we just want something new. Which is it's why... The best of the best. No, I, if I had to put it somewhere, I'd say very good. Yeah. Because it is very good. Yes, it is. But it's a very good game. It's too open world. Yeah, it, and a little bit. I personally prefer dungeons over shrines. I prefer the traditional dungeons. And yeah. the Divine Beasts, they were cool, but I wouldn't call those dungeons either because they, they were so short. Yeah. So while it, it was really good, it really like changed up with Zelda, like what it was known for. Yeah. I think they made this huge world and it... Honestly, in some places, felt a little too empty. empty. Yes, felt I know. Too empty. Yes. So I, I concur. But even with all those downsides, like the little story. bits of story we got were insanely good. Like yes. and that, ridiculously. Those flashbacks, you know, you know, like the one where there. the one where Link dies. Quote quote. That's one of my favorite Zelda scenes. Period. That, I mean, it's like the defeat of the hero. Just Not to mention. Yeah. Anymore. And not Brandon. to mention that Hyrule Castle theme. Yes. Like the. <laughs> okay, I'm putting in very good. Breath of the Wild is very good game, but they yeah, things but it, they should improve on for the second one. Yeah, it just gets boring over time because there's very little to do. Well, I mean, there's no a replayability. Yeah. Okay, Cadence of Hyrule. I actually played this. I think it's pretty fun. Yeah, it was pretty fun, but it, it's not as good as Breath of the Wild. So. Uh, Never you touched can, it. Put it in good. Okay, so Brand Brandon doesn't have an opinion about this. I would put it in good because, yeah. like, it's it's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure, like, every time you start the game, you know, you have the dungeons, but like the map and the items, like, there's it's like Minecraft, like it's different, right? Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's how it yeah, was. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's, it's been yeah. forever since I played it, but it was pretty fun, especially if you're musically right, inclined. Uh, so I'm putting it yeah. in good. Four swords. Four yeah, Swords Adventures yeah. have not played. Oh no, we got the next four games are Four Swords. Okay, Brandon, let me explain this to you, okay? So Four Swords, four swords, already. Four swords Adventures is the GameCube game. Yeah. This yeah. Four Swords, this Game Boy Advance, that was the original Four Swords on the Game Boy. Then Four Swords Anniversary Edition was a remake of that. Oh wait, there's a Four Swords right here. What the? Oh, is that? that okay. I think they're saying that that's the port of A Link to the Past, because there's a port of A Link to the Past and the Game yeah, Boy. Yeah, that is true. I played. I used to play that a lot in my childhood days. Anyway, uh, Four Swords Adventures, I played it once when I was like... Five. That's a mechanic from what I've seen. Yeah. You, also need a game, you also need a Game Boy to play it. So I'm putting it in Haven't Played, but above Tingle and the rest of that garbage. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> from what I've heard, it's really fun when you actually get friends together, but we don't have like $300 to spend on the equipment for that. Yeah. The Game Boys and the Game Boy Links. We still have our Game Boys, but not Game Boy Links. Okay, the A Link to the, A Link to the Past port. Yeah, that one on the Game Boy Advance. Although but, I wasn't really good okay, at Actually, it. you know what? I'm, I'm going to drag that. I'm going to put that down by A Link to the Past because I don't want to deal with that. Because it's the same exact game. Yeah. But different sound effects, though. Did you see Brandon, A Link to the Past was like the last one? I just moved it. Yeah, right after Hyrule Warriors. Okay, oh, four. No. Oh, okay. Okay, there's the CDI game. <laughs> okay, so Four Swords Anniversary Edition is kind of the same thing as the normal Four Swords, except there's like online play. So I, Elliot and I actually have played the original Four Swords. It was yes, pretty fun. Very we beat fun. it a lot of times. 
I've seen yeah. a remake of Four Swords. Yeah. Throwing pots on each other's heads. Yeah, that way you can't throw see pots anything. on each other's heads so we couldn't see anything and walk off the cliffs. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I don't know what Four Swords Anniversary Edition did any differently. I, I, did it add anything? I don't even know. Probably not. Nah. I, I think I might have seen a. I think I saw a walkthrough of it. It was no different than the original. Okay. Personally, if I had to say it right now, I think I liked Four Swords more than Cadence of Hyrule because it was felt more like Zelda, and Cadence of Hyrule is kind of like yeah. a spinoff. No, no. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, put it above Cadence, but keep it in good. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, because it's the same thing. So, like, move Cadence to the side. And basically, I think, yeah, and I think all the Hyrule Warriors games are the exact same thing, but like with expansions per se honestly um Haru Warriors it's not really a Zelda game diff- it's more of a it's a Zelda game yeah but it's it's still good like I it's still good but this is a Zelda tier list I like the like this, the story though now yeah. it, like it's even fair. though it's not canon it kind of brings like everything together and it's fun to play with someone yeah that. So, uh, I wait. I haven't played Hyrule Warriors Legends, so I'm gonna put that in. Haven't played. Yeah, because that was for the 3DS. Legends is the third one, right? That was no, okay. Legends so was Hyrule Warriors, one. you know, was the base game. Legends was kind of like the second one, but I don't even know what it did because I haven't. No, no, played. no. The 3DS one. Yeah, that's no, Legends. That's that was like they they made that one second. And I don't, I don't know if it was like a sequel or anything because I never played it. But I know Definitive Edition took like the characters from both. And it's basically the number one. It's basically a Hyrule Warriors, the first game. Because I so mean, I, like, if you connect Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, they look kind of like the same thing. But I don't know. I want to make an argument to put... um. Uh, the original Hyrule Warriors at like the bottom of good and the definitive one at the top of good. Okay, Does that make no sense? Okay. What do you think, Gallery? Yeah, I agree. I haven't played much of the original one. I just did a little bit. and But the definitive edition, I'm pretty sure we beat that. It was pretty good. I liked it. And they have a lot of extra stuff for you to do. Yeah. Like Persona 5 Royal. Yeah. Okay, so... Link's Awakening, we got, I think. We got Link's Awakening, the color version on the Game Boy Color. Can we rank this and the original one on the same thing? Because DX is just with color. Yeah. Yeah. So you see Link's Awakening, it's to the right of crossbow training. I'm just going to... Yep. And then there's the one on the Switch. Yeah, which we'll get to, because I think it's better. So the original Link's Awakening. Which actually has a good story. I think is good. Pretty good. It's a Zelda game. Yeah. <laughs> but it's actually okay. Spoilers. The ending is pretty non-Zelda style, which makes it kind of interesting. Yeah, the whole island like disappears and stuff. And it's just a dream. Fish. It's a Zelda game. It's a Zelda game, definitely. <laughs> kind of just want to put like the middle of the road for me. Good. Yeah. yeah, obviously I'd put it above Hyrule Warriors because it's an actual Zelda game. So I'm gonna. I like um I like the. Uh, see, there's something in this that they added that I really liked. The dungeon making. No, that was it. I'm talking about the original one still. Oh. Uh. Was it the cape? Was that in? Yeah, the cape. The rocks feather. The rocks feather. I love that. So nice to be able to jump in a Zelda game. Hey, you can jump in the. Uh, Nintendo, in Zelda 2! <laughs> you can jump in can Zelda 2! You can jump in uh, Majora's Mask. Is there a mask that lets you do that? Just like jump by hitting a button? No. Was it the no, fog one? I don't one? remember where it is. Well, there's the mask. We'll get to that here in a minute. Okay, so the remade Link's Awakening. I want to make an argument to put this in very good below Breath of the Wild. 
Yeah, and I can agree. It was indeed very colorful. The only thing about it that didn't really stick out to us was that Link just moves too slow. Yeah, he kind of moves slow. But I, I like the the next one, Link's Awakening on the Switch. Oh, you mean... It's okay, green. I see the, the yeah. Green it was... Okay. I think they improved it. Yeah, it says Eld for me. Yeah, that's all I see. <laughs> the Legend Eld. I think they did a really good job remaking it, it's honestly. <laughs> like, the, um, the art style... I think they did a really nice job. I just think Link moves too slow, but that's kind of a nitpicky thing. It's just Link's Awakening, but better. And with a dungeon maker side thing, which is really cool. Yeah. I never got to do that. So, I want to put that in very good under Breath of the Wild. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Brandon? Uh, you... I haven't played oh, it. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, so, Eld... Links Awa, no, the le the legend the legend Eld Links Awa goes in very good. No, Links crossbow Link's training. Crossbow training. <laughs> For those who don't know what Links crossbow training is, it's basically like a, a side game of Twilight Princess, but it's mostly just missions where you're it's playing as. Above terrible and it's not terrible, but it's not terrible. But oh yeah, I meant to in not so good. I put a space slash. New troll, which is right so, where Link's crossbow training fits in. Yeah. Yeah, that game is basically just there for just Funny enough, you know the story behind Link's crossbow training. The team wanted to make a sequel to Twilight Princess, but Miyamoto was like, "No." But if you want, you can make a you can make a thing with the Wii Zapper. So that's what they did. <laughs> Yeah, the Twilight Princess okay. sequel would have been so great. <laughs> Alright, hot take, Majora's Mask. Unpopular opinion, I'm about to get torches and pitchforks thrown at me. I do I not like Majora's fun. Mask. <laughs> I do not like Majora's Mask. Yeah, it was a pretty dark game. I heard lots of good things about it. Lots of people say it was good, so... I Personally, think maybe it's good, but maybe at the bottom, list of good. I think it was good. Uh, if I had to pick... I like, my opinion, I would put them both in neutral, not so good. But at the top? But at the top. Because I just personally, I, I played through most of it. I got through, I, didn't, I haven't even beaten it. I got through Great Bay Temple, and I quit. Because I just, it just wasn't for me. I don't know why I wasn't really digging it. But It's not exactly a best of the best. I think it was very good. It was definitely an interesting, like, you had 72 minutes to basically yeah, a, try and figure it's out. It's an interesting concept, but... Yeah. 72 fit minutes to get through a dungeon and get to it. And like, I think I, that was kind of, like, a nice uh, ring to Zelda. Because most people are like, oh, hey, I could spend forever doing this. And when a game is like, oh, hey, I'm going to put a time limit on it now, actually kind of do something, it kind of... I mean, it takes away some of the grind, but Zelda isn't a grinding game, so it kind yeah. of works out. Yeah. You think they'll do that with Breath of the Wild so, 2? Probably not. No, they yeah, they I, won't ever go back and I do something like Witcher Mask again. They kind of ruin it. I liked the mask collecting. The, mask collecting really, the only thing that really just got to me, like, it wasn't even the depressing story. I like a good depressing story every once in a while, every once in a while but I felt rushed. That time limit, like I know it doesn't bother some, but I just felt like I constantly had to get things done fast, and I couldn't take my time and do them like at my own pace. Like the, the dungeons, I panicked and ran through them, tried to run through them as fast as I could, and I didn't really get as much enjoyment out of it because of that. I feel like Majora's Mask is more for adults, though, like that have time constraints to begin with, like. Oh, I only get a certain amount of time. Let me yeah, that's true. Play Majora's Mask. I can get this done in a couple of weeks if I spend like an hour a day on it. So I, I will say though, I played both, a little bit of both the N64 version and the 3DS version. I think the, actually, I honestly, I, I think the Nintendo 64 version does the atmosphere better. Like the lighting is better. But the, that does the atmosphere better, but the graphics the, and the story kind of come off the, a little more clean in 
and the gameplay is much better with the 3DS. Yeah. So I would put them both in not so good neutral, but I know both of you kind of like it, so I would be willing to make a compromise and put one of them in not so good neutral and one of them in good. Yeah. I'm gonna say the 64, the not so good neutral, and the 3DS. Good. Yeah, but I agree. I will put it above Link's crossbow training in, in neutral. Well, obviously, yeah. Because <laughs> this Link's crossbow training we're talking about. And the 3D and 3D, where are we gonna put that in good? We're gonna put it above. I want to put it above Hyrule Warriors, the first one at least. Yeah, I think it, it deserves to go above Four Swords too because it it's a it, it's more of a legit Zelda game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do we want so Ocarina of Time? No. I heard that Master Quest in Ocarina of Time was ex- insanely hard. So do we want to do? It? Base Ocarina of Time first, or Ocarina of Time 3D, or like Arc Master okay. Quest. Should we do Base okay. Ocarina of Time first? Yeah, let's we, do it. If we're gonna do Base Ocarina of Time, we gotta do Master Quest too because it's kind of the same thing. If you're gonna do yeah. the 3DS Master Quest, that's a bit different. Bef- okay, before I explain anything, I'm just gonna say where I want to put it. I want to put um, Ocarina of Time at the very top of good, and Ocarina of Time 3D in between Breath of the Wild and Link's Awakening. Mm. Yeah, only I, uh, my diff my opinion because of how we're gonna split those is purely based on the water temple and how that is handled because I hate 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 the water temple in that game don't forget to add the double hate <laughs> if you're the Grinch <laughs> I think that uh, Ocarina of Time kind of got blown out of the water a little bit I mean yeah don't get me wrong it's still fantastic it is overrated it's still like, a good game all these but, people that are like, Oh, it's the best Zelda! Oh, I get the nostalgia, yeah. but let's be real. <laughs> Wind Waker <laughs> built off of it, Twilight Princess built off of it, Skyward Sword went off and did its own thing like it was on Shrooms, and then Breath of the Wild went off as Zelda 1. <laughs> yeah. That was on crack. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, so. Where, where would you guys want to put them? Yeah, I kind of agree with you on putting Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D in between Link's Awakening and Breath of the Wild. Because, uh, I mean, yeah, Ocarina of Time... Of the wild. Yeah, yeah, Ocarina but of below Time Breath 3D of the wild. does have better graphics for me. It does look better. Although the original is still gorgeous as it is. It's just that Ocarina of Time 3D kind of enhanced it, you know? Yeah, I used to hate Ocarina of Time just because it was so popular, but I've come to... Here's my I've opinion... Grown. I like Majora's Mask more than Ocarina of Time. Uh, you're not the only one who thinks that. There's a lot of people who think that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it kind of. I, I mean, yeah, Ocarina of Time kind of set up that Majora Mask link, but I feel like Majora's Mask kind of took it a step deeper into the, the actual world instead of just, oh hey, here's Ganon, he's evil for because he was born as a man and then a certain tribe. Yeah, but you see, kind of in a way. When they made Ocarina of Time, I would think they yeah, were they were, the they were trying to follow the formula that A Link to the Past made. Because that's where the Zelda formula came from, was A Link to the Past. So they tried to do that, but in 3D. But they obviously couldn't do that again for a sequel. So it makes sense why they changed it up in Majora's Mask. Which I kind of liked a little bit more because it wasn't like your traditional Ganon's evil for no reason. It was, this kid just doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He's dealing with an evil deity that's kind of just taking over his body. Yeah. But then, again, what they did in Ocarina of Time with Ganon wasn't what we had seen before. He technically won when Link pulls out the Master Sword. He takes over everything. Yeah, that's true. This is a a, a tricky... I would... Because... I, I did not really like Majora's Mask. I would put Ocarina of Time way above it. But see, this is this is the beauty of opinions and controversy. Yeah. So where where would you want to put Ocarina of Time? Just below Majora's Mask. And not so good. You think it's not so good? No 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 no. The three like the three oh the three D. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well then, shall we do it then? No, it's, it's not in the neutral. Okay. 
do we want to compromise and put it at the top of good? I well, I said very good. I I think Ocarina of Time itself, the original game, would be in good. I think the 3D oh. version is what goes in between Breath of the Wild and Link's Awakening because of the gameplay fixes. So I'd be willing to compromise, put uh, the original just be- just below Majora's Mask, and then. Uh, the 3D at, at the very top of good. The very top of good? How about at the yeah. bottom of very good? That sounds fine. Yeah, okay. Right. Let's do it. So before we get pitchforks, we are compromising. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know where I would okay. want it, but we, we're, we're making this out of the group, so yeah. we take all opinions into account. Now we're on to Master Quest. Fuck Master Quest is all I have to say. Is this the GameCube Master Quest or the 3DS Master Quest? Though? I think it's the GameCube. Yeah. I and, haven't played that, so yeah, I Yeah, I can tell know. by the font. I played the first dungeon on the 3DS one. <laughs> yeah, no, I got to the second dungeon, Cameron, let me tell you. You can't fucking figure out a door. I can't figure out one of the doors it's because the bomb just goes off before I can even hit it. So, I hate it with all my being. Not to mention the original Master Quest, Cameron, wasn't flipped. Oh, it wasn't? <laughs> no. I'm going to put Master Quest and haven't played. Just a safe, safe opinion. I'm putting it uh, above Four Swords, though. Yeah. All right. Now, the Oracle games. Cameron, These go on I the same... I have sa- not played those, but I've heard them. Heard they were, no matter where they go, they go on the same spot. I would put them above Link's Awakening and good. Because they're practically the same graphics, the same kind of like way to play as Link's yeah, Awakening. Yeah, same gameplay. But better. They're Zelda games. Yeah, and if you play the both of them, you'll actually get a true ending. Mm-hmm. Where you get to fight Ganon, and I think that was really clever. So Brandon hasn't played these, so he doesn't really have an opinion. Um, I heard about him. See, I liked the gameplay of Seasons more. But I think Ages was better. Ages had a better story and the time mechanic. So I'm putting Ages at the top of good and Seasons below it. They kind of just go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Yeah. We put it above Lake's Awakening, right? Yeah. Okay. DX, not the Switch one. Yeah. Hey, so the Phantom. Wind Waker sequel. Phantom Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass. All right, I'm just going to say that this kind of goes somewhere in the middle of good. It was definitely kind of an annoying feature with the fucking... The uh, Ocean King? Yeah, the Temple of yeah. the Ocean King. That was the, that was horse shit. All I have to say. Yeah, yeah. I let, Personally, hot again, hot. I have a lot of hot takes here. I preferred Phantom Hourglass over Spirit Tracks because even though... Like, because the exploration, like Spirit Tracks... You can tell my brain is trying to think here. Like, the, the tracks, they're tracks. You have to stay on the tracks. Yeah. But I can definitely it's see. like Phantom Hourglass, even though you weren't technically more free because you had a map and you saw everything, you still got to draw out your path. You know? Yeah. It's it, definitely it, kind of like it was the like, actual sequel of uh, Wind, Waker. Wind Waker. It was like an, yeah. illu- it was an illusionary freedom. Like, you didn't really have freedom. Like Wind Waker, where you didn't really have a map and you had to chart it out yourself. In Phantom Hourglass, you just know where all the islands are, like, immediately. There are a few, though. That are hidden, but you can, but you do find them on the overworld. Oh, but then in Spirit Tracks, you can get Force Gems to uncover new stations. So, definitely by a gameplay standard, Spirit Tracks is better, so that would probably go above it. Especially just because... Um, Tower of Spirits is way better than um, Temple of the Ocean King. Yeah, and in Temple of the Ocean King, you go down. In the Tower of Spirits, you go up. Wow, and, that's almost like... And I, I refuse to put... I refuse to put any of these games higher than Ocarina of Time. So I think they should go in good. Yeah, but below agree, Ocarina yeah. of Time, but above Four Swords. Yeah. So in between... And I, I think Spirit Tracks should go above... Phantom Hourglass, just because it was literally like loads better, like gameplay wise, you know, right. mechanic wise, and yeah. the flute. I haven't played Spirit Tracks. <gasps> Gasp! 
I'll have to borrow it too. And the flute. You have, a, you have the you flute. Let it. Borrow yeah. it. Alright. Skyward Okay, the sword. mushroom game. <laughs> Skyward Sword. It was definitely I quite say, a. Best of the best, in all honesty. It's yeah. Good story. Although, the gameplay was always annoying. <laughs> it was definitely annoying. I liked Fi. Screw people who hate Fi. Yeah, all, I mean, my, all, all my homies hate people who hate Fi. <laughs> Well, Fee, five, four. Master, foam. the batteries in your Wii remote are nearly I'm depleted. That was quite cold. annoying, but I still really like it. You liked didn't her. have to hit the button. <laughs> you didn't have to hit the button to make her come up to see the. Yeah, but then the there was still the sound below. effect coming from your Wii remote. Not to mention the blinking flashlight okay, to the right. Hear me out. Would you rather have that and know your batteries are about to die, or be in the middle of a boss fight, have the Wii remote die, and then you die? Yeah, that. I'd have to agree with Cameron. The story, even though in some places it drags on, and screw the imprisoned, is fantastic. Yeah. The music is beyond fantastic. Yeah. Which was all lively orchestrated. I'm putting that in best of the best below Link Between Worlds. I do have to say though that that was kind of an interesting take. Like, oh hey, here's why Link wears green is because it was the next year of the Knights. Yeah. It explains like so yeah. much. Of yeah. It, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. And the, the it's a prequel. We forged the Master Sword. That was so cool. Yeah, but when in other Zelda games they say that the Master Sword was forged by the goddesses, we're like, actually it was Link. Link is well, the no, goddess. Okay. <laughs> Dude, the they, you get the goddess flames. Forged by the goddess. The goddess sword. And then you get the yeah. Goddess flames. Yeah. So technically it was forged by the gods, but Link had a very helping hand. Skyward Sword, best of the best. Yep. Screw the haters. Okay. Uh, Adventure of Link. I already know where you guys want to put this. You I guys probably want to put it in terrible. <laughs> right? I haven't played it. Haven't played it. Oh, re- oh, so it's all up to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, just to keep this short, I'm going to put it at the top of... No, I'm putting it below Majora's Mask and not so good neutral. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind Adventure of Link. If they remade this game and made it a little easier, I would buy it and I would play it. Yeah, Zelda 2. Yeah. I think it is fun. It is just way too hard. Way too hard. I heard that it's way too hard. I was playing it on Switch Online and I played it on my phone for a while. It made me want to break my phone in half and throw my Switch. It sucks. (laughs) (laughs) I... Every time I try to do a playthrough of it, I always get to the last dungeon, and I just can't beat it because it is that stupidly hard. And that's all I'm going to say about that. If it was a little easier, I would put it in good. I would put it above Four Swords, but no. Too hard. Now, Triforce Heroes. I really like Triforce Heroes. I was the first to get it in the group. I would put Hot Take again. Man, I'm full of Hot Takes. Triforce Heroes, very good. Below Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I say it's yeah. good. You got it. You got it. You got to look at it for what the purpose of it is. If you play it by yourself, yeah. you're not gonna have as much fun. But if you get together with two of your homies and you play through it, it's a blast. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's the problem, though, is that you have to have two friends in order for it to be fun. And if you could find your, if you could find two friends, that's great. If you can't, I do have two the game friends. Is kinda, I know, but I'm just saying, like, not everybody can get together. Three people to play this game right next to each other. Yeah. I thought it was quite fun figuring out the puzzles by myself, though, and figuring out what to do. Because I are, played most of the game by myself. three copies of this game in our house. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Little sister Sydney has one, Elliot has one, and I have one. And we... I have fond memories of this. We beat it when we were in Florida. I have a bias towards it. Yeah. I'll put it at the top of very good. I mean good. I'll put it at the top of good. Top of good? All the time. That's all the further I'm gonna go. Mm. How about we make a compromise? But uh, at the bottom, are very good. Nah, I'm only gonna go up the top of good. Right. Brand- Brandon, hear me out. Hear me out. One of these times, oh. you can come over and you can play it with us. We can beat it. <laughs> Please okay, go on. Until that point, though, it's only gonna sit at the top of good. Uh, <laughs> top of good, bottom of very good. What's the difference, right? I mean, it's the same. It's a big difference. <laughs> no, you're putting it at the top of good. <laughs> Oh, this hurts. Uh, you know what else really hurt? Putting Ocarina of Time at the bottom, below Majora's Mask and good. 
Well, I mean, this yeah. is a collaborative effort. Oh, it hurt! <laughs> okay, I still thought it was good. Okay, I'll let that one slide. I'll let that one slide. But there are definitely other better Zelda games. Than okay, the original Zelda. Hmm. Bottom of very good, we'll top of good. Which one? Hmm. We should put that at the bottom of very good just because it's the mothership, pretty much. The mothership. The one that started it all. The first time you ever got yeah, to explore Zelda soul. world. It is, is dangerous it? to go alone. Yeah. Take this. Also, um... Yeah, I was I gotta say, uh, my dad, he had this funny story. He's like, you won't be able to find the last dungeon. Level nine. I did, because I'm smart. The end. It's in the <laughs> rock. Okay. Twilight Princess and Twilight Princess HD. I want to put these in best of the best above Skyward Sword. Yeah, it was a good I story. Although, it did take There's a not really much of a difference. A Obviously, I, I'd say just put the HD one above the original one because, you know, HD. Yeah. It was... I like the cinematic vibe of Twilight Princess. I like the art style. I like the music. I like the dungeons. I literally yeah, like everything. Mention. And Midna. Yeah. Midna was one of Twilight my favorites. Princess, the very actual first, other than Majora's Mask Dark Zelda game. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't a sequel. That wasn't a sequel. So that's where Majora's Mask kind of falls. It's because it's a sequel. It has kind of already a fleshed out world a little bit. So it's like, yeah, it's good. But you have already kind of know some of the basis of another game. So you can't base some of that base knowledge already. Because it would just take away the thunder of another game. Yeah. The and only thing... The only thing I did not like about Twilight Princess was the Tears of Light, but that's not enough to make me not like the game. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely annoying. Wind Waker. Yes, I really loved Wind Waker. Very fond memories. Lots of nostalgia. Before good. I explain, um, I think the HD version should go above Skyward Sword, and the original version should go in very good above Breath of the Wild. All right. I was going to be like, do we want to put it... It at the bottom of best of the best, or because, the top of very good. Because I have to agree that this it's one of the top tier games. Wind Waker yeah. HD is fantastic. Yeah, I, they, I love the fucking Swift Sail. Yeah, the best thing ever. Yeah, they added a lot more in HD. One thing's for sure, I know I want to put the original Wind Waker in very good above Breath of the Wild because I it's not best of the best because of that stupid Triforce hunting quest at the end. Oh yeah, and. Uh, yeah, and in the HD version, they only narrowed it down to three Triforce treasure maps. And you know what? That was... I actually didn't mind that. I didn't mind it. I might have... So now we're going to have a debate if we want to put uh, does Skyward it, Sword... Yeah, does, above, it go, or, does it go above Skyward Sword or not? I, ar no. I argue yes. Because... It's a difficult choice. Because, again, I have childhood bias towards this. I played it on the GameCube. The GameCube. It was my favorite Zelda be... game for a while. Ellie, what do you say? Oh. This is pretty much up to you. Mm. I think I might say put it above Skyward Sword. Put it above? Yeah. Yeah, because I have fond memories of it. Although Wind Waker is pretty short. Yeah, true. Now, now we're um, not... I just enjoy the, the we're not saying... That's true. That last fight's just off the hook. You know what? Yeah, I agree with Brandon. Wind Waker, none of, none of these games, literally none of these games and like these best of the best, very good or good, aren't bad. They're literally like some of the best games ever made that I've ever, that like critics have ever reviewed. I mean, the only annoying bit of that last boss is trying to get the lightning to come down. But Skyward Strike, because of motion controls. Yeah. The motion control is the only thing that drags that game down. All right, Minish Cap. Brandon, I assume you haven't played this. Oh, okay, so that's the other CDI game. No, it's not a CDI game. Minish Cap game. is not a CDI game. No, I'm game. saying that there was something before Minish Cap, so it's like, oh. oh, that's the other CDI. Minish, uh, have you played Minish Cap? I think so. That Brandon, for a short I assume time you off. haven't, right? I've for... heard of it. I think it's the game where you can shrink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really good. I'm going to say put it at the top of good, bottom of very good. I want to put it above the original Zelda. 
You want to put it above the original Zelda? That's fine with me, then. I still remember back when GameStop sold Game Boy games. I walked in there, my mom, she was like, yes, you can get a game. And I'm like, for real? I'm like, you're letting me get a game. She's like, yeah. So I walk in there, and then the first thing I saw, The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap sitting on the shelf. And I said, give me this. Give me this. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, now, A Link to the Past. Yeah. I haven't played it. But I feel like it would be a very good game, just because yes. if it's based, I lit- if a link between worlds is kind of based off of it. This it's definitely got to be at least a very good game. Yeah, this is my this is my favorite Zelda game. So you already know where I want to put it. And best <laughs> of the best, the I want to put it at the top of the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I, I it was a really it. good game. I mean, I feel like. Are you going to talk? Uh, no. You guys, I, I'm collecting my thoughts right now. Because, oh, okay. one, lots of childhood bias. This is my first Zelda game. It, think of what it did for this series. It made the Zelda formula. Yeah. Created it, Zelda's theme. Created the Master Sword. And the set Master up the sword, three Zelda things theme. that you get before you take the yeah, Master Sword. Yeah, that's the Zelda formula. The pieces of heart. That was, they made, mm-hmm. you get four pieces of heart to get a heart container. I think there was. This one didn't have wallet sizes. No, it didn't have. It had sizes. it had arrow capacity and bomb capacity oh, yeah. and flippers. Yeah, flippers. Slash the Zora armor. I don't so, know. It'd have to be Twilight Princess for me because I feel the Twilight Princess is my favorite. Of all the Zeldas. Yeah. It's, okay. So, like, I I rank them differently. In my mind, I put them in like two different categories. I do 2D Zelda and 3D Zelda. And Twilight Princess is my favorite 3D. And Link to the Past is my favorite 2D. Okay. Does that so make I, sense? I'm going to put it below Twilight Princess, but you can put it above if you want. Yeah, you you put it where you want. We'll actually just we'll split it for this one. Yeah. Brandon's putting it below Twilight Princess, so he would put it. Right here. But you know what? On my list, I'm going to make an exception, and I am putting it at the top. The end. Yeah. It was the it was the start of the Zelda formula, after all. Every other major Zelda game used that formula. Now, personally, this is interesting. I think A Link Between Worlds is a better game. But I like A Link to the Past more, just because of my childhood nostalgia and bias towards it. Yeah. You can never go wrong with nostalgia and childhood biases. Yeah, trust me, my number one game is never going to take it. Just yeah. because of childhood bias. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so there you have it. There's our Zelda tier list. Um, I love the fact that we only have one terrible game. And it's one we haven't even played since yeah. number one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's our Zelda tier list. Feel free to throw your pitchforks in your grenades at us in the comments all you want but uh that's our opinion yeah you can stay titled to your opinion everyone has their opinions that they're entitled to so stay true to yours yes uh we we might do more of these i was looking at some earlier there's plenty of them there's like zelda items there's zelda characters there's kingdom hearts characters ones Mm. kingdom hearts games mario games there's probably mario there's probably Persona 5 ones. <laughs> yeah. Best I'll girl. Do that I feel Best like girls. Hard debates just get hard. I'll just get heavy <laughs> and be like, oh, I like this There's character the, more than no, this No character giving in so. towards that one. Mm. Girls you can yeah, date I'm in Persona 5? Not in just Persona no, 5, but all the Persona games. <laughs> all right, so we, we'll probably do more of these. We just wanted to start with the tried and true Zelda tier list because everybody does at least one of these if they're on YouTube because... Zelda is literally that big of a game series. Yeah. All right. The next one that people usually do is Mario, so we're not doing Mario. All right. So, I guess... you guys really want Mario. All right, so that's our tier list. Feel free to take a picture of us and post hate online. (laughs) That's A-OK. Thanks for watching, everybody. I don't really have anything else to say. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. All right. Share this video with people. Share our terrible opinions with everybody else in the world. Let it be known. 
Let us be known as the people who say Majora's Mask is not so good. <laughs> well, to me, <laughs> Brandon thinks it's good. Hey, you know, I want you to hurt me to put Ocarina of Time in good. Okay. That's our tier list. Uh, well, thanks. 3D one is very good. Thanks for watching. We're going to, I'm going to, we talk too much. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a nice day. Hit subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider hitting the red subscribe button down below to be notified of future content. We plan to post new videos every week and we hope you enjoy them.